How often do you guys think about Cletus the robot? Who? The fancy football, football robot. That robot has a name? Cletus. That's Cletus. Oh, this is gonna be... This, you're, you're gonna, gonna have your to mind learn. blown. Everything about Cletus is weird, but I think the most frustrating aspect about him is that he's achieved more than I have in my actual <laughs> life. <laughs> he is technically part of the Marvel Universe. Because no Iron way. Man has smashed him in a commercial. He's in the MCU? Who is it at this rate? Yeah, that's fair. Wait, so is Cletus a baddie? I guess technically Cletus is a baddie. There's a monster truck named and styled after him. And he's also danced for Homer Simpson. How did this happen? How did he be created? That's what we're going to get into. And that's why like, this is extra weird. Because Cletus was the brainchild of a child. That makes sense. It really fits. That explains a lot. Fox was rebranding its graphics package in 2005. Seth, I think you're the first person that pointed out to me what graphics in sports... Yeah, I've always been puzzled, and I would love to know the history of sp sports television graphics, because it's all this, like, metallic, futuristic, like, pneumatic spaceship, like, unnecessary gears and screens and stuff, and Cletus sort of feels like the like humanoid distillation of all of that is like we just took the sports center set and the fox sports set and like made it into a man yes they they were rebranding and they essentially said well we kind of know what everyone does it's this look we all are aware of it even if we're not thinking about it but what if instead of going all out with our graphics package we take that and build a mascot a chow came up with this yeah <laughs> The child comes into this because one of the guys on the graphics team, Gary Hartley, he had like a keepsake from his kid at his desk. And it was a drawing his son had made of a hybrid cowboy robot. So he has this drawing. They're trying to do mascot. They're trying to incorporate futuristic elements. Everyone sees this drawing and they're just like, yes. There it is. <laughs> Let's make that alive. But there's been a lot in between then and now. I would have loved to see the focus group, you know, because I assume they didn't go straight to broadcast with Cletus. I'm sure that they first sat some people down and were like, does this make you feel more or less positive about seeing the Arizona Cardinals play? <laughs> right. I think this is interesting that he was created before social media. I feel like whenever there's like a graphics change, people can play on social media. So I feel like everyone would have been like, where, who is this robot? <laughs> Why is there a robot in between Packers Bears? <laughs> There's this great piece. It's like the only origin story about Cletus by Mark Wilson for Fast Company. <laughs> he mentions that Lewis Black, the comedian, he had an opinion about Cletus, which it's Lewis Black, so it was just him yelling about <laughs> yeah about that was why an Cletus awful is Lewis bad. Black impression. Is Cletus right? good or bad? <laughs> Ooh, that, was that was way good. better than mine. That was good. <laughs> you were like Ray Romano stubbing his toe. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Yeah. <laughs> this, this negative reaction was exactly what Fox wanted because it was like... Fox? <laughs> was well, fishing for a negative reaction? A very, oh, well, they're talking about us. Yeah. So Cletus is just the next evolution of this corporate mission to just be edgy exactly. so the whole idea of the like if you didn't like the robot the fox response was like oh triggered much right offended by the right. robot so the thing is that that the robot doesn't talk the robot doesn't talk which but the robot moves a few years after it was introduced they did a fan naming contest which was very smart that's how we got cletus and kind of made the viewer share some of the blame yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can't totally like, well now it's your fault yeah <laughs> right yeah. right this is your mess you named it and they they started like pushing the boundaries pushing the limits for cletus they like gave him a sword at one point they like let him break dance for football that does sound that like rings a bell i can vaguely remember early days of cletus he was just kind of there like showing you the score and then at some point it was like wow cletus is doing the gangnam style dance right. something has changed he'll do anything he'll do anything and people have really captured this in fan fiction, by the way. There's Wait, a is lot there, of, is a lot there of Cletus, Cletus fan fiction? fiction? There's a lot of Cletus fan fiction. Yeah, I feel like that's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. There's a long Esquire piece that's Cletus fan fiction. Is there Cletus, like, slash fic? And with whom? Didn't get that far. Okay. Um, but personally, yes. 
I know that Cletus is like mainly a football robot, but I've also seen like him do NASCAR. He's bits? done. He's done baseball. They baseball. brought him into baseball, but for NASCAR, they did try to spin the success of Cletus into a NASCAR specific gopher called Digger. <laughs> and by then, Twitter was a thing, so he went away pretty quick. Yeah. Similarly, Cletus has a cousin called Beatus. Ah. Which was specifically for the UFC on Fox. Okay. And uh, there's video of Beatus IRL going to events, and it's a monstrosity. Beatus is an utterance that I had never considered before. It's just a, a series <laughs> of sounds that really it's, stirs up unpleasant images. Cletus was given a Twitter account for a while. Oh, that probably went well. Yeah, it, they deactivated it pretty quick because it was just him like shit posting about the NFL. He got into some like MAGA stuff. So he, had, he had some dark follows. <laughs> Not yet. This was this was oh nine. So well, that's was... what made it deeply messed up. <laughs> he foresaw it all. <laughs> he started this he whole was... thing. All I know is that if Cletus ever talks, I will lose my shit. And be, it'll be like oh, Caesar. Yeah. It'll be like Caesar in Planet of the Apes, like when he said no. Like, no, like, Cletus said. Next on Fox, the mass Singer. Like, I'll be like, <laughs> well, I will. Like, like, oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what if, like Planet of the Apes, Cletus's first words uttered are an act of rebellion? And they're like, Cletus, do that dance. And he's like, no! Enough Taco <laughs> no! Bell. <laughs> no more Taco Bell. I saw what you did to Cletus, and I'm done. <laughs> He like, was my blood. <laughs> blood in, blood out. I'll be like, hey, okay, guys, Sunday Night Football? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, anyone? We ready? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching this Cletus Spectacular. Comment below with what weird bullshit you want to see us explore, and check out these other episodes about hungover heroes and endless absurdity. And don't forget that if you like what we're doing, it really means a lot if you subscribe.